Hi folks, Dr. J here, Family First Chiropractic, coming to you with your weekly wellness video. And this week I want to talk about something that's that's very important to me that I think we have a really strong misconception on in this country, and that's symptoms. Now, let me just first tell you a small story uh, why that uh, I'm kind of riled up about this this morning. It's just driving into to work, uh, had on my talk radio show, I'm not going to name who it was because generally I like these guys and they have a good show, but then they're doing this commercial, this uh, red advertisement for a local weight loss company. That's that's what they do. They specialize in weight loss. And these guys are saying, you know, uh, you're not going to be able to diet and exercise is not the way to do it. And this is the way to do it because it's going to teach you specifically how to lose weight and you're going to lose it really, really fast. <clears throat> and I realized they they missed it. Obesity is a huge issue in this country. Just posted some stats a couple of weeks ago about how it's even getting worse. The trend line is still going up and up and up with that. Uh, overweight and obesity, uh, it's staggering the amount of people that, that fit into those categories, especially our young people. It's really, really sad. But folks, weight loss is not an issue. Or weight, obesity is not a problem in and of itself. Obesity is a symptom of a body that is sick. Pain is a symptom of a body that's in trouble, that's injured. High cholesterol, high blood pressure, heart disease, thickening and placking in the arteries. These are not problems. These are the crises that happen because of a problem. So what we need to do is figure out what's a symptom, why is it important, and, and how do we actually go about addressing it in a positive way. Here we go. So I'm pretty fond of saying that symptoms are one of our body's best friends. They're an advocate for you. Uh, a few weeks ago up on the board back there, I had the question, what is the purpose of pain? And we talked about it to many of my patients, so now I wanna to speak to you about it. So what is the purpose of pain? What is the purpose of any symptom that we get from our body. When we get an infection and we get a fever, what's the, what's the point of that? Um, when we get uh, some kind of a virus and we, we get a cough, what's, why, why do we have that? Why do we have uh, itching and redness when we get a, you know, or a rash or in contact with something, contact dermatitis, or why, why is that? We get a, you know, why do we have diarrhea whenever we have a stomach bug? It's an important question. I think we need to answer that question because modern medical science is founded upon a principle of silencing the symptom. I always relate symptoms as an analogy to your check engine light in your car. You would not purchase a car that didn't have a check engine light. That you just had to guess when there was something wrong under the hood, because most of us are not car experts and just the feel of the car and driving it and the noises it makes and the, the, the shimmies and things like that aren't enough information for us to know, hey, this car is uh, working properly or it's not. So they give us a light to say, hey, you need to pay attention to your car because something is not exactly right. Now, so you wouldn't buy a car without it. I wouldn't buy a car without it. I also don't think if that check engine light kept coming on, you wouldn't take it into the garage and say, can you please find the fuse that connects the check engine light to the battery and just remove it? The, the darn light's on all the time, and if I could just get the light off, I could go back to driving my car and not be bothered with looking at it and having it, you know, draw my attention to it all the time, and I'd, I'd just like the light off. And, and if, if you did that, the mechanic would look at you and be like, that's, that's, stupid. You're going to destroy your car just so you don't have to deal with the light, which is telling you how to ensure that your car lasts for as long as it can. That's what we're doing to our bodies, folks. When we look at a symptom like obesity, I'm overweight. Great. So now I have to figure out how to lose weight. Well, you're not really overweight. You're sick. I don't even see overweight and obese anymore. I just see people that are not well. That's a symptom. It's a symptom, it's a signal that your body is giving to you. And thank the Lord that we have those 
those messages to tell us how to change. So it's not the fact that you need to lose weight. It's the fact that you need to change the environment that your body's living in because whatever that environment is that you've set up through lifestyle choice, your body cannot manifest a normal, healthy weight. So rather than attacking the symptom directly, let's take a look at the environment. If you're in pain, if you have an injury that's causing you pain, it's not right to say, well, well I'll just take some drugs and kill that pain. Let's figure out what's injured in the body and how best to heal it so that the pain will go away as a consequence of the body healing, becoming well. We have to start addressing the environment. Just saw a study today or uh, this week about how uh, uh, Lipitor and the cholesterol lowering drugs, they're, they're, they're coming out now and they're just saying, wow, these have really, really caused more problems than they've ever solved. Uh, because high cholesterol is an issue for a lot of people. But that's, again, it's not the problem. It is the body telling us something's not right here. So the way to deal with it isn't to go and find a chemical that we can patent and sell to people that will lower artificially that cholesterol and kill them earlier in life. What we should do is say, what, what in the environment is not allowing my body to manifest a normal level of blood fats as my genes are programmed to? Because there's something in the environment preventing that. And if I can remove it, and folks, I'm going back, it's either toxicity or deficiency. That's one of the, that's, that's it. You're either toxic in something that you can't deal with or you're deficient in something that you must have. Once we can eliminate those consistently for a period of time, the body will heal itself. You will not manifest overweight or obese. You will not manifest heart disease. You will not manifest any of these things. The pain will go away. You will heal. The body is designed to live in a state of optimal health and it's constantly trying to get back there. So the next time you have a symptom, I, I just encourage you to try to change your paradigm. You're thinking about these symptoms. They're not impediments to your life. They're not problems for you. They're a gift from your body to say, I, I just need you to pay attention right over here until we can figure out what's wrong and make an environment where I can heal it because that's, that's the process, that's the way this whole process was designed to go. Chiropractors are gonna help you by reconnecting you with your nervous system in the most optimal way, because the nervous system is gonna drive that healing process. So this is a great place to start. If you're really looking at, man, I'm, I'm dealing with symptoms and I'm managing all of these diseases and these symptoms of chronic illness, and I really want my body to just heal from them, then Let's have a conversation about how chiropractic can form a foundation for a wellness lifestyle that can end up creating an environment where your body has no choice but to manifest optimal health and healing. That's what we're doing here, folks. So next time you hear somebody say, come to this weight loss place because we can show you how to lose weight, just think, that's, that's backwards thinking. I'm going to get myself well and allow my body to modulate its weight the way that it was designed to in my genetic programming. And the next time you say, here, here's a painkiller, just dampen those signals that your body's giving you to tell you that something's wrong. You just say, no, that's backwards thinking. That pain is telling me where to pay attention and when I'm done paying attention, when the body is actually healed. Symptoms are our friends, folks. We just need to pay attention to them and treat them as such. And we can learn a lot from it. So that's your wellness video for the week. I hope you liked the tip. I uh, hope you had a good 4th of July. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Oh. Oh.